Okay. So, I specifically tell them a certain time. 7 o'clock, everybody needs to be ready. Out of the house. Head to the strip. Gonna go for all, all the candy buffet. That's really, really nice on the strip. And then, we're gonna go to the mall. Go shopping real quick. And then, we can go watch the waterworks or whatever they have going on there. And then, you know, whatever. I don't know they ain't ready. 7.30 something, and they're not ready yet. And it's freezing outside. I'm like, where you trying to go? Like, on the strip at 11 o'clock at night when it's freezing cold when everything is closed? Like, I don't get it. And then it was taking me a little turtle time that I could have all day. So, I said, you know what? I'm going to come in the car. If y'all in the car by 30 minutes, I'm going to go back inside the house and y'all going to Uber yourself around the place. And it's still shopping. Lord. My goodness, not, guys. It's now 12.30 a.m. And right now I'm back at the house after all that time. And my sister forgot her ID. So she's coming to the house to Hubert to go back on the strip. Why? I have no idea. She's like, it's still early. Gosh. I'm going to bed. I had to leave them, come in the car, and fall asleep in the car. And they finally came, knock on the window. I was out. The struggle is so real. Good morning. Why is there no light in here? Oh, there we go. Morning. We got Jamaican bread where she toast. I mean, the bread feel hard, man. Yeah. Super hard. She over toasted bread. Lord, the chef, honey. The chef, she just boiling everything. What we got on here? Ooh, look at that omelet with the Jamaican cheese on the side. The spinach. Ooh, ooh. Well, that bread is no good. So, it's too hot. Do your thing, boo. Do your thing. That's what happens when you have family over. You don't do nothing. Let them do everything for you and then feed you. So, we're moving night. I'm like the last person to get ready and the first person to actually leave out the house. And they're not even ready yet. These are the type of people I'm dealing with. We're going to the movies. And right now we're supposed to reach the 610. It's now 618. And I'm out. Oh, sure, because I didn't put on no deodorant. I'm gonna be sweating like crazy. Struggle. Anyway, and they're still in the house, not even ready yet. And they were waiting on me. And I'm in the car, I'm heading to the car right now, so. Yeah. It's a beautiful day, and uh, we are going to Ikea. They want to go shopping it's gonna be a long day because these people's they take forever shopping and then afterwards they want to go to the mall 
Yep. Yep. That's the type of, type of life I have. That's over red lobster. Oh, no. Woo woo! It's from the drugstore. It's three months salary down the It looks like, it looks a little hot. I can see the steam coming out. Yeah, it's probably part, part of it hot. Look, my shirt, I had a part of it. Pulling it out of the same plate. Oh, so romantic. Oh, it's so sweet. Okay, guys, so now it's four hours. Been four hours, yes. Um, we are at the outlet. Um, I dropped them off. I stayed in the car. I took a nap. Um, I talked on the phone. I did some business stuff. I checked my emails. I even went on Facebook or on Instagram, scrolled through a couple things. And they still not here. I went to the restroom and came back, and they still not here yet. They're shopping at the outlet. I don't know why they didn't bring a suitcase. Because I, when I went to the restroom, I saw people um, with suitcases. They should just bring a suitcase and get stuff. So they raided my apartment and took some of the items that I have from my boutique. And um, so they raided it all. And that wasn't enough for them because they came up with an empty suitcase. Um, and they're trying to fill it completely and probably with an, another extra suitcase. So they told me to go to an outlet with them. And that's why I'm here at the outlet. No, and I know my peoples. I know my people that when I come to, when I bring them shopping and stuff like that, I need to be physically, mentally prepared for them. And I was. But now, my stomach is rolling. I'm hungry. I wasn't ready for that one. Because I thought I ate before I left the house. I said, okay, I ate a good amount of stuff. By six hours, I should be okay. Nope. My stomach is rolling right now. So I'm not okay. Not okay at all. They haven't called me to check up on me to see if I, how I was doing. Nope. I even went into the outlet. The outlet is huge. I didn't know the outlet was so huge. If I know the outlet was so huge, I would have came here all day. Like from the morning. I would have dropped them off in the morning, went back home, eat, sleep, and let them call me when um, um they're ready for me to pick them up. Because they set me up. I, I, you know what? I should do my research on the outlet. That's what I should do. I should do my research on the outlet. Or I should have went to Ikea at all. So, yeah, they have a reservation at 9 at the hotel, um, so, all right, 9.30, I don't know if she's going to make it for that reservation, because she missed it, like, twice already, and they keep on rescheduling, and, um, one of them is leaving tomorrow, hallelujah, <laughs> I mean, I'm happy, I'm sad, but I'm happy at the same time, because I'm, like, the chauffeur, and I'm, like... <laughs> <laughs> I just want to drop them off and then go home. And they're like, no, come with me. Come in the store. Blah, blah, blah. And more, like, I had to spend like 10 minutes in the store. More than 10 to 15 minutes. I start having headaches. I can't be in the store for so long. And they stay in the store way too long. And that's just too much for me. Like, that's not, that's just too much. I understand, you know, you come to America, you want to get all your, your ex, the expenses stuff that are in Jamaica here because it's cheaper. I totally get it. But you can do that by yourself, not do that with me. <laughs> all by yourself. And then they're like, oh, you don't spend time with us and stuff like that. I say, I do spend time with y'all. When we are home eating breakfast, we're at home in, um, at night, daddy's spending time. I don't have to spend time with y'all in the store for no hours. No, that's just driving me crazy. That's just a driving crazy moment. I don't want that. You already driving me crazy already. They took over the whole house, honey. The whole house. They took they took over the whole whole place. So I'm like, oh, can't wait for them to leave to get my apartment, to get my my serenity back, to get my Husa moments back. Cause honey, I love them, but I hate them right now. I love them, but I hate them. It's like one of those relationships you love and hate at the same time. Yes, it's like that. And it's so funny because my sister called out sick from work just to come up here. And I'm like, did you call out sick just to come here? Like, she's like, yep. She's like, I needed a break. So my sister's a nurse. And she's like, I need a break from those people. I need a break. So I called out sick. I was like, oh my goodness, I can't believe it. I can't believe that she actually called out sick. So she called out sick, again, getting paid for her sick time she called out. And then next year, she's going to do her vacation. I said, you are so smart. I said, suppose one day you're actually sick. She have, so she has enough hours um, for her um, to add on to if she, call, if she if she actually sick. So I guess she had days off. And then she called out sick um, the rest of the days that she wasn't off. I'm like, girl, you're so smart. And next year she get she she gets her paid vacation, but then she's still getting paid for her sick. I said, girl, you're smart. I know you're a part of my family because you know we be doing some Grammy stuff like that. 
but let's see when you're gonna finally show up struggle is so real okay so i'm here watching the grinch bootleg y'all don't judge me okay don't judge me it's bootleg hey but i did support um nobody's fool in the movie theaters last night and it was really really good guys very good you guys should go and support tiffany um she did a great job in that video i'm gonna watch it bootleg now but even though i did pay my coins to her but i want to watch it bootleg again because it was okay it was really good um so now the grinch you know i'm just gonna do it bootleg i ain't, I ain't gonna pay my coins for that but yeah y'all y'all know what i'm saying guys they've just called me tell me that they're heading over to me right now we came here at three it's now seven we came here like three something it's now 7 57 p.m and i think the only reason why they're leaving so early is because they have a reservation to a hotel tonight at nine nine ish that's why they're leaving so early no consideration for me at all none but i told him tomorrow i'm not going anywhere tomorrow is my me time because i have to go to work the next day and i need to be mentally and physically prepared for work so i'm not going anywhere tomorrow tomorrow is my me time so too bad so sad for them so i'm gonna end the vlog here if you guys haven't subscribed please go ahead and do so click that notification button and see y'all next time i'm tired as heck